Hello everybody, I'm Pregames, and as you can see, I am on Bedrock Minecraft, but something that's a little special about me being on Bedrock Minecraft is that, well, I'm on a mat. And Bedrock is known to not be able to run on mats, so how did I do it? There is a third party launcher that lets you play on Bedrock, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Before we get into that, I really wanted to state just how well Bedrock runs on a Mac. In my opinion, it runs better than Java Minecraft, and it's not even made for this platform, so I just find that really amazing. The launcher itself, in my opinion, is very high quality, and I'm going to explain how I think the launcher itself works after I've showed you how to use it. Alright, so this website is exactly where you're going to download the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. And don't worry, I'm going to put this link in the description below. So for Mac, you're going to want to click on Mac OS right here. And this is the page that basically explains how the launcher works. Now, what I want to say is that if your Mac is on the latest version of OS X, then this launcher is sadly not going to be able to work for you. You have to be on Mojave. This is the version I am on and the launcher works perfectly for me. So I suggest for everyone to read over this page before you download the launcher because there's a lot of important information that you can find on this page. But whenever you are ready to download the launcher, you're going to click on this, this link right next to Mac OS because we're running a Mac, we're not running Linux. So there are a few different launchers that you can download on this page. For you to know exactly which one you have to download, you have to know exactly what OS X version your computer is running. To find that out, you simply go up here, click on the Apple, click on About This Mac, and it will say the version. Now you're going to look through all these versions like Yosemite, Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, and you're going to find the same version that is listed right here. And that's when you're going to download. So look through both of these, and it's going to be one of these links. And since I'm running Mojave 10.14, I'm going to click on this link, the first one, because it has Mojave 10.14. I'm going to click it, and this page is going to open. So once you get to this page, you're going to scroll all the way down, and you're going to find the first link that does not have dot delta behind it. So you're going to click on it. And this is the Bedrock Launcher, as you can see it's downloading, there's a few seconds left, and once it's fully downloaded, I will show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so the Bedrock Launcher has downloaded, and this screen is going to pop up as soon as you open it. So what you're going to want to do is just drag your Bedrock Launcher icon into your Applications folder. It's really easy, it's set up right here. And this won't pop up for you if it's the first time downloading it, but since I'm updating my Bedrock Launcher, I'm going to press Replace. We're gonna wait for it to replace. And now it's in the applications folder. So once you hear it, it has dropped into the applications folder and you're gonna go over here and you're gonna right click it and you're gonna click open. So then this is gonna pop up and it's gonna say, you know, it's made from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you wanna open it? Yes, you're sure you wanna open it. You're gonna click open. All right, and the launcher should open up. So once you reach this page, it's gonna ask you to log into your Microsoft account because you do have to own Bedrock for this to work. This isn't a free way to get Bedrock. This is just a launcher. So if you don't have an account, then it won't work for you. You're going to have to actually buy the game. And the way that this launcher works, at least how I believe it works from the troubleshooting that I have done on it, it seems like this is a Galaxy Phone emulator that is configured to work with a keyboard and mouse. So, due to that, this launcher actually runs Minecraft Pocket Edition for Android. So, that is an $8 app. You're going to have to buy it from the Google Play Store if you want this to work. Now, if you're like me, and you don't have any Galaxy or Android products, so you don't even have a Google Play Store, I have a solution. If you don't have an Android device yet, you still need to buy Pocket Edition for Android for the launcher to work, then Bluestacks is an amazing option for you. This is how I got access to the Google Play Store without having an Android at all. 
So Blue Stacks is a Android phone emulator. This <laughs> seems sponsored, but I swear I have six subscribers. I'm not gonna have a sponsor. You download it for free, it's easy to use, and I'm going to open it on my computer so you guys can see what it looks like and how exactly you can buy Pocket Edition from this emulator. Okay, so I just started up BlueStacks. This is the launcher. It takes a few seconds for it to load up, but it's not, you know, slow at all. It just takes a few seconds. So basically this gives you your own personal Galaxy phone. I already have Minecraft downloaded onto my BlueStacks because I bought it in order for the Bedrock launcher to work. And you know, technically you could play Minecraft on the BlueStacks emulator. It does work. However, it's not configured to work with a mouse and keyboard. So if you do play it on BlueStacks, you are not gonna be able to have the same controls as Minecraft Java. You're gonna have the controls of a phone, which is really hard to control if you're on a computer. All right, so once you open up BlueStacks, you're going to go to the Google Play Store. That is not the Google Play Store, oh my God. Okay, um, you're gonna go to the Google Play Store <laughs> and you're gonna search Minecraft. And here it is. You're gonna buy it from here and make sure that the email that you use to buy Minecraft on BlueStacks is the same email that you have your Bedrock account on or your Microsoft account on. If not, it will not work. You'll have to make a new Microsoft account for you to be able to play the launcher. So just make sure it's the same email. And once you've bought it on BlueStacks, it will be connected to your email. So your Microsoft account will know that you have Minecraft Pocket Edition for a Galaxy phone. So this emulator will then be able to work. All right, and that's all I have for you guys today. If you wanna check out more videos, then check out my channel. I do a lot of Minecraft Bedrock and Java content. I play a lot of Sky Wars, Bed Wars, you know, maybe starting a survival series, survival series soon. So, you know, check out my videos. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions about downloading the launcher, then, you know, go ahead and comment them and I will try my best to, uh oh, that's not gonna work out well. <laughs> and I will try my best to answer your questions. Anyways, leave a subscribe, <laughs> leave a subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed my content. If not, then I'm so sorry. Comment on how I can improve. <laughs>